Prince William is being helped to get over his fear of posing for selfies as the royal family embrace more modern technology, as the late Queen Elizabeth would never have taken one. Younger royals such as William and Princess Kate are often seen posing for selfies during walkabouts, with other royals such as the Duchess of Edinburgh and King Charles and Queen Camilla also following suit. Royal photographer Samir Hussein told OK! Magazine, you do see selfies happening more often these days. I think it's because the royals are more relaxed and want to give people what they want. It would seem rude to walk away, so they're happy to take them now and again. As a future king it is important for William to be seen chatting to and bonding with members of the public, as he did last Sunday when he walked the red carpet at the BAFTAs in London. William and Kate also share glimpses of their life together on their Instagram page, even sharing pictures and updates regarding their children Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis. On special occasions such as birthdays, Mother's Day or Father's Day, the Waleses often post a new family picture for their 15 million Instagram followers to enjoy. In 2021 the couple launched their own YouTube channel to share videos of all their major engagements, with William joking to Kate in their first video, be careful what you say now because these guys, they're filming everything. Brand and culture expert Nick Eade told the publication that William and Kate may have taken inspiration from Prince Harry and Meghan Markle on how to communicate their royal brand, even though the Sussexes have now quit social media. Kate and William even made history with the creation of the first ever royal reel on Instagram in 2020, which showed them baking bagels on Brick Lane. The princess in particular is a natural when it comes to interacting with the public on a walkabout, which was especially in evidence the day before King Charles' coronation last May. She joined William and the King walking along the Mall to greet those who had been camped out for days ahead of the celebrations, and chatted happily on the phone to Texan Debbie Hoover's aunt, who was stuck in Tennessee with a broken leg and could not fly over.